Hello and welcome to today's live stream. Uh, today we're going to talk about the timber jig and the timber jig with guide rail packing. And okay. today I have, I'm with me uh, here with my colleague Anton. Hello. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, before we start the live stream, we just want to remind me, remind you, that if you want to. Uh, have more information about the products themselves uh, and prices, please visit uh, logosol.com uh, or visit our Facebook page, Logosol Portable Sawmills. Uh, and you're always welcome to contact us uh, at uh, info at logosol.com uh, or call us at plus four six six one 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 eight two eight five. So Anton. Today, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Uh, so today uh, we've set up here uh, both the, the guide rail uh, package and uh, a wooden rail in case we're just using the timber jig. Mm. Uh, before we start uh, using the equipment, uh, maybe we should have a little look yeah. at <coughs> uh, the timber jig. So talk a little bit about the product itself. And what's so fantastic with this is it that it's our smallest sawmill and it's what we call ultra portable. So it's basically a sawmill that you can attach to your very own chainsaw. Yes. And, it, and then create a, a, a mill using just your chainsaw. And it's really ideal, if, especially if you have logs that you want to process that are lying in places where it's difficult to reach with machinery mm. to transport them. <clears throat> uh, so this is just a jig that you mount to the saw and you can bring that just with you and either use a wooden rail or get a, a, a guide rail set like this with guide rail supports uh, to adjust the height. Uh, and the timber jig here, we can maybe take a little close-up look at the assembled jig. So, Perfect. a small camera. So the timber jig is essentially this piece here, uh, and here is the dimension plate, where if you uh, use a wooden rail and and once you squared up a, a beam, you use this to to set the thickness that you want from the board, uh, and the jig moves on these four plastic rollers and we can show here if you follow me here and uh, when you use the guide rail kit you also get these aluminium profiles that fits against the flanges on the guide rails uh, and that's why we've tilted this a little bit just so it's a little bit more comfortable uh, position when you're cutting instead of being on your knees um, I would say that that's a, a key tip when using the, the timber jig, is to create a good ver working position before yes. starting to cut. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and here we can show the, the scale here. So you have the measurements uh, there. And this is the side plate. This is essentially the when you're using the timber jig on its own, uh, this is the plate that should go against the, the beam. Uh, so you get a good angle on the cut. Uh, Perfect. And how do you mount this? How do you mount the chainsaw onto the, the jig? So we're, we're using these types of uh, extension nuts. And this one is uh, a bit special. So this has a little recess here, uh, which allows you to mount it on chainsaws that has captive guide bar uh, nuts. So you remove the existing nuts from the sprocket cover and use these. And they, they go into the sprocket cover a little bit more. Uh, so uh, the guide bar bolt reaches it. So these are, M inside thread is M8, outside thread is M8. 
and most chainsaws have that size on the uh, guide bar bolts. There are a few of the, the big ones that have M10 and we have extension nuts for that as well. <coughs> uh, so once you've mounted these, check. Yeah. Once you've mounted those, you use two normal M8 guide bar nuts and slide the chainsaw in here. and just secure them to the bottom plate of the jig and we also have a made a, a movie about when you're assembling the timber jigs you can find them at our youtube channel logosol portable sawmills so now the chainsaw is mounted and now it's basically ready to to be used and okay. Uh, before we start, I'm just wanting to show the guide rail supports here. So you can see here, you have a trapezial bar and a scale. If you move, move the camera a little bit here. Oh, then you can see that. Uh, you have a scale and then a key here to set the height. Uh, so you can basically just loosen the, loosen this crank, adjust the trapezial bar to the wanted position and then put in the key there, lower it down against this beam here and then secure it. And then you do the same on the other side. Uh, so you can, you can compensate for the, uh, the shape of the, of the log. And, uh, once you've made a cut or may, and maybe taken off a sideboard and you want to cut from the next side, you can loosen this crank here. So this bracket here jumps out and then you can turn the whole system around. Uh, so you, you, you can take the next angle. So this is a, a, a very, this is also a very portable system and you have the benefit of, of the guide rails because uh, they're always perfectly straight. We can also mention that they are really easy to carry since they are in uh, aluminum. Yes. yes. So sturdy and uh, lightweight. Absolutely. And uh, if we look at this setup here where we're only going to use the timber jig, we have a uh, <coughs> basically just a wooden rail that we mounted. So we, we positioned the rail here. So we get the cut where we want to start milling. Uh, and once we've squared up the whole log, we can only use the, the timber jig on its own. Hmm. Uh, and this is also a benefit. So if you're starting out with a timber jig and uh, later on wants to uh, add the, the guide rail supports and the guide rails, that's of course possible. So you can start it out with a timber jig, get used to the milling, and then if you want to, to go to the, the guide rail supports and, and rails, you can do that afterwards as well. Great! There, there we have it. There we have it. So it's a fairly easy system to use and you can either use the super handy and super comfortable guide rail system. Yeah. Or create your own guide, guide rail using some wooden boards. And the guide rail supports come in this box. And then you have three separate parcels for the, uh, the guide rails themselves. Mm. Uh, so if you get the whole kit with the timber jig, it's essentially five parcels that you get. But you can also extend the guide rail system to any length. 
Yeah. So uh, <laughs> the limits are. But that was actually a very good point there because the standard kit is three one meter rails that you connect to each other. And then if you just want to add uh, to it, you can add mm. one or two or three or four uh, rails to it. So with the standard kit, you would mill maybe about uh, 2.7 meters yes. in effective milling length. Yes, yes. And uh, also um, with uh, when you extend the rails, you can also add more uh, supports. So we have a, a guide, <coughs> guide rail prop, we call it, uh, which is a holder and a big spike. So in the middle here, we could punch that in, so it holds the guide rails perfectly stable. Keeping it straight. Yes. All right, should we make the first cut? Let's. <coughs> Oh. <laughs> Would you like to have the honor, Pelle? Yes, I can do it first. <laughs> and I'll do, the I'll do the second then. Yeah. Perfect. Now we could, in the next cut, we'll get a sideboard and then we could turn it around, for example. Of course. We can also just show here that the, the end result is pretty nice. Yeah, the, the finish. The finished cut. And it's, a, it's such a small, small sawmill and still it can perform fairly well, I would say. Yes. Yes, definitely. And these are actually the same type of guide rails we use on the F2 and F2 Plus. Perfect. So there we have one cut and we could do something similar on the uh, on the wooden rail just to show using only the of course the timber jig. Oh, it's oh. I think this so, one. Let's put it down. Yeah. There. Thank you. And I'll <coughs> grab the camera.
great Anton. Perfect. So here yes. we can, <clears throat> can show the, the finish. Oh. It's am amazing how easily it cuts through the log. It's really smooth and uh, yes. it's, it's cool to think that it's such a sturdy material, but yet it's so easy to cut it up with using just this very small sawmill. Yeah. Minimalized equipment, <laughs> you would call it. Yeah, essentially it's only the, the a small little jig attached to the saw. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. It's, it's, it's great. And we also have its big brother, the wide slabber. Of course. Works similarly to this system as well, except that you use two rails. For extra stability then. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Yeah, but it's super easy to use, and uh, once you start cutting, you can really feel that it's uh, it goes really well. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So let's set it up for another cut. We'll set this up. If you, we'll put this yeah. on the side. We'll put it now. here. There. What's the, what's the measurement it's on there now? Well, see, it's a bit hard to see here, but it's... Uh, five. Yeah, put, you can put it at three, three and three quarters. Three. What, what did you say five? Five. Yeah. Three and three quarters. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And we'll make the next cut. Perfect. So there we have a second cut there, and now we we're, lo we're losing a little bit of the yeah the log support there. Yeah, but you can see it's not it's not that difficult to change the to the next cut. It's no, pretty not, fast actually. Not at all. Yeah. And especially with the scale, with the scale and the yeah. and the key, and then there's already set mes measurements. 
So as long as you do the same on both sides, you're sure to have a good result. Yes, yes. Uh, should we check if we've gotten some questions? Let's. Let's see. Yeah, we could show... Uh, Jacob, Jacob here asked if we could uh, show the rotation of the fixation on the end of the log. So we could actually yeah. actually do that just to, <coughs> just to show how that is done. We can tilt this a little bit more upwards. Oh. There. There we go. And then you loosen this little crank. And then you thread it out a little bit so you have room to pull it out from its position. Yes, ready? Yeah. That, but that, it's a bit stuck here, we'll see. Let's, wait a minute. There we go. There. And then we'll just secure it again. <clears throat> and we can see that this is super handy when you're... Yeah, and then you can tilt it. Back up again so we have a good working position. Yeah. And if you're gonna do a block before cutting and then maybe just using your timber jig. This is a really, really good uh, function yeah. of the rail kit, rail kit system. The guide bar system, guide rail system. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's very handy and it's, it's not a lot of stuff that you have to bring with you either. So it's, it's very useful on, on logs that you can transport yeah. from site. <sighs> um, See if we Are have there any more. I saw there was a. <clears throat> Hi to Argentina. Jesus Cerda. Then we can say that we are going to have a Spanish live stream next. Así que a las seis sueco tiempo, de tiempo sueco, vamos a tener un live stream en español con Tele y yo. Let me see here if. No, we, no comments. We, no, no more uh, questions. But one thing that uh, we should mention is uh, <coughs> on this chainsaw where I showed the extension nuts that were recessed. We can get this one. Yeah. We can actually remove the saw just to, to show this. So this extension nut that has a recess on it, it doesn't come with the timber jig. The, the standard ones that you get are just flat here. Uh, and they work on a lot of chainsaws, but the ones that have captive covers, they require these ones. So you can get them separately in case you have a chainsaw with that configuration. Um, that's important. And for the MS-880, you will have we have these in M10 uh, inside thread M10 outside M8 and they also need to be bought separately so yeah that's really good to know <laughs> yeah it's important <laughs> that's important yeah we can put it back now 
there. And I would say that this is a really good um, equipment for starting to mill. Yes. Because it's so small and it's fairly cheap as well. Yes. So it's a really good, I say, step-in product. Yeah. And uh, we can actually show us a, a small video of uh, with some pictures from our customers. Yes. Of things that they have created using this uh, uh, the sawmill. So and uh, maybe they can help you to find some inspiration for your next project. Amazing, and I, I, it just got me thinking about how much lumber there is out there that maybe just becomes firewood, yeah. or it's lace and rottens. And with this small investment, then you can create something out of it. Yeah, and it's just so wonderful to see this uh, creative power that people get using this uh, equipment. Definitely, and there, there's a lot more even that that been built just using the, the timber jig and guide rail system. So yeah. uh, I hope you got a lot of inspiration from these uh, really nice projects. Uh, but I think we've gone through a little bit uh, what we thought we'd talk about today. And uh, if you have any question that comes up, feel free to contact us and uh, either by email or phone uh, or if you go into our Facebook page, uh, you are warmly welcome. Yeah, we're here to help. Definitely. And also with the pricing, visit uh, logosol.com and you'll find the pricing there. And we have, uh, we have a lot more inspiration on, on uh, the website as well. So thank you very much for, for today and uh, we see you next live demo. See you. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.